Hello, today I'm going to show you how to complete your Disney Cruise Line online check-in. This is a big event as you get ready for your cruise. It's the day you're going to get to book your port adventures. You're going to get to select your adult dining. If you're on a seven day or longer cruise, you're going to get to book your um, special character breakfast reservation and so much more. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to type in Disney Cruise Line and then just click right here. And then you're going to go to sign in. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I was already signed in. Um, you're going to just go to sign in or create an account. Um, if you haven't created your account yet, you're just going to go right down there and follow the directions, um, create a username and a password, and then um, you'll link your reservation number. That should be on the email that we sent you about online check-in. So I'm using one of my client and friends, Dawn's. Today was her check-in day. Um, so what you're going to go to first is you're going to click My Disney Cruise and My Reservations. And right there where it says Add Reservation, we've already added theirs, but right down here you could have clicked Add Reservation. And then you would just type in your confirmation number and it would pop right up. So now um, it won't open everything until your actual day of booking. So hers is open. So the first thing we would have done is we would have completed the online check-in. Now I'm not gonna click into that because it would show you her personal information. But when you do the online check-in, you're gonna be entering in like your credit card information for any onboard purchases and for your Port Adventure purchases. Um, now with your Port Adventures, they're not gonna charge your credit card until you sail. So that way you can make changes and all of that up until about three days before you set sail. Um, but the after you complete the online check-in and register your kids for um, the children's areas, then you're going to go to activities and click book now. And this is the fun stuff. So this is what will pop up. You'll see um, your last name, the name of your cruise, and then you'll have all of your days with different different options um, available to you. So right, it'll automatically populate the ship activities. So like on day one, they'll have like a sail away deck party and that'll be included. Um, but if she wanted to add some spa, ex spa experiences or um, adult dining for that day, you would just click view and add activities. So let's go ahead and look at day two for them. It's going to be a sea day and um, they've already gone in and added a few things, but I'll just kind of give you uh, an example of how this works. So here you get to choose either adult dining, spa and fitness or on board, or if they had a child that qualified for the nursery, that would light up. Port Adventures does not light up because it's a sea day and there's not going to be any Port Adventures that day. So let's look at on board fun. So we've got some choices here. We've got beverage tastings, character greetings requiring tickets, Bippity Boppity Boutique, and some portrait stuff. So the character greetings requiring tickets, that's going to be a great one if you have small children or even teenagers. Like they have older children, but they wanted to do that anyway. So when you... Um, click that, you get the frozen meet and greet. And what it does, it doesn't cost you anything. It's just going to give you a ticket. Um, and same with the princess gathering. And it just gives you a time to come back so that you're not waiting in a long line for that. And then on the seven night and longer cruises, you get to choose a character breakfast. That is also free, but you do have to pick a time. So when I click on there, um, it, I can click all eligible guests, check availability, and then it will pop up times. They actually already have this booked. Okay, so it says I already have another activity scheduled at this time. That's because we already have it booked. But as you can see, it'll just bring up some times and you can choose those. I'm going to hit cancel because we've already booked this. Um, same with the frozen meet and greet. It'll, again, it'll bring up all the um, people and it'll give us times. And then we just click on the time that we want. And then once we do that, you have to always come over here and click confirm activities. That way it, confirm, it confirms it and it will be yours. If you don't hit confirm, then you haven't really gotten it yet. Same with Bippity Boppity Boutique. Here we go. There's just different, all sorts of different packages that you can choose from. Um, and if you click on it, it'll tell you more information about that particular package. 
and then you just can hit close when you're done reading about it. Um, and here is Shutter's Portrait Studio. If you wanted to set up a time, um, like a 30 minute session, um, then you can uh, do this. Okay, so I want to go, if I wanna choose a different day, I just right here, select a different day. Um, and then let's look at uh, Key West, Florida for them. I'm gonna hit view and add activities and say we're wanting to do a port adventure. I'm gonna click there. And then it pops the different options that I have to book. So say they want to do the presidents, pirates and pioneers. If I wanna read more about that, again, I just click right there and it'll tell me all about it. Um, and then I just hit close when I'm done reading about it. And if I want to book it, I click whoever wants to go or everybody. I check availability. And again, it's not going to charge me the cost of the um, excursion until I'm on board. And then I would just hit save to cart. And then again, in order to actually book it, I have to hit confirm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit remove because this is not one that they're wanting to do. So now if I'm ready to go on to the next day, I can go select a different day. And I just go through the process for each day. Now here they've booked some adult dining. They've got onboard fun. Now here, ship activities. If you click on that, it'll tell you what it is. So you know what to work around. The pirate deck party, which is at nighttime. Um, they don't have specific times yet because it's usually after the second dinner. Um, anyway, that is how you go through adding things to your um, reservation for all of your port excursions, um, specialty dining for the breakfast, um, adult dining. And then um, again, um, if you want to, you can go back to my reservations. It'll bring up your reservation. If you're traveling with more than one person, you can add their reservation right there. Um, I think this is really cool. A free character call. We can set that up. We can, and we get to pick who's calling. So I'm going to have Mickey call them. And you'll want to set this up yourself so that you know what, when they're going to call. Um, and you can be sure you're home around that time and read through the policies. But that's something fun to do. Okay, I'm just going to have to X or click backwards to get out since I'm not actually booking that for them right now. Um, if you wanted to change your dining, you could do that. I recommend you, if you want to change it, just let me know and we'll call that in for you. Special request we can add right here. Um, so they've got some basic diet issues here that you could, um, add, but if you are like gluten-free, if you have celiac or something, just let your, um, dreaming about the mouse agent know, and we will get that added to your reservation. Um, we will call that in for you. And then also, like if Cameron, well, she's 11, she doesn't need a crib, a high chair, a booster seat, or bed rails. But if you had a small child, that's where you will add that. I'm going to cancel changes since I didn't make any. It also has some helpful information here about required documents, what to pack, the Navigator app. If you're driving to the port, it gives you directions. And then if you want to look at some air and ground options, you can also look at um, options there. So that, in a nutshell, is basically um, how you complete booking your activities. And then again, you'll wanna do the online check-in and that's where you're gonna put in like your travel information, how you're getting to the port, setting up your kids and the kids club um, and all of that stuff. You do not actually have to do this first. Um, you can go ahead and book your activities first and then go back and do that. So if you're kind of, um, if there's something special that you're really wanting, you'll want to go ahead and book your activities first. Um, the registration opens up or online check-in opens up at midnight Eastern time on your day. So if you're um, in the central time zone, that means you can log in at 11 p.m. central time to book. Um, East Coast um, families, you'll want to um, log in at midnight or the next morning. Um, but if you're trying to get something that's real important to you, um, I would go ahead and try to do it right when they open up. Um, if you have trouble and it's the middle of the night, please don't call your agent. 
then maybe send them an email and they'll get to you first thing in the morning um, and they can help you with any issues that you're having. Um, the biggest tip, go ahead and get your um, your account set up before your online check-in day and get your reservation linked up. So um, that's about it. If you have any questions, again, call your Dreaming About the Mouse agent and they will be happy to help you. Have a magical day.